Hello and welcome back to another session. Today's topic is NAT Gateway. NAT stands for Network Address Translation and it's mainly used to allow instances in private subnet to connect to other services outside your VPC. The connection can be initiated only from the private instance and external services cannot initiate connection to your instance. So this helps in securing your private server at the same time allowing them to connect to internet or any other service outside your VPC. So in the last session, we saw the setup of VPC with two subnets and passion host uh, setup. We'll leave a link to that video in the description. Please watch that before proceeding with this video as we are going to reuse this base infrastructure as you're seeing on the screen. So on top of this, we are going to add a NAT gateway in the public subnet and then connect the private subnet to the NAT gateway through a router which will enable the instances with the private subnet to access internet. Let's get into the console and see how to set up this in AWS. Okay, so we are in the console and as said earlier, we are going to reuse the base infrastructure which is created in the last session. So we have a VPC and two subnets under that, public and private and then an internet gateway is attached to it. So the next thing which we are going to do now is attach a NAT gateway as well. So we are going to create a NAT gateway and name is optional just for our reference and we are going to put this in the public subnet. And the connectivity type is going to be public. Only public allows you to connect to internet and in case of private, it will allow you to connect to only the services within AWS, but outside VPC. And then we have to associate it with a elastic IP. And there we have our NAT gateway. So once you've created a NAT gateway, you have to attach that to the VPC. That can be done through route table. So we already had a route table, which has the internet gateway connection. So we will associate that route table specifically to the public subnet. And we will create a new route table which will have the NAT gateway association. So the older one which we created in the previous session just has a connection to the internet gateway which is forwarding the 0, .0, 0.0.0 traffic to internet. But now we are creating a new route table which will forward the internet traffic where NAT gateway. So we will add a route uh, which redirects 0.0.0, .0 traffic to internet NAT gateway. And save the changes. So we have the second route table now and we are going to associate this with the private subnet. So edit the subnet associations and select private subnet. So uh, we are done with the infrastructure setup. So we just added a NAT gateway and attached it to the route table. And the next step would be to SSH into the VM, the bastion host which we created in the last session, and then SSH into the private subnet. So first we, SS, we did a uh, SSH into the bastion host and from there we are connecting to the private subnet. So you can connect to the bastion host by the public IP and then to the private subnet through the private IP. So we are in the private subnet now. And earlier in the last session when we tried to access the internet, we weren't able to do it. But now if you do the same curl command to access Google website, you are able to do it. So that's it. It's quite simple and straightforward. This is how you set up an ad gateway and access internet from a private subnet. Thanks for listening in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.